Love, Dan and Claire. Hello, Kafam. Welcome to our channel. Isang araw, isang pahina ng aming buhay. Starting our day with something satisfying to our taste buds, but don't worry, we are going to talk about more the chapter 1 of Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty in this video. As what I've said in the last video, the first few pages of this book has turned red as I keep on reading and still captivated with Jay Shetty's turning point of his life. Though I have to admit, I already watched him say these in several interviews, to mention I still keep on watching those videos every now and then for the nth time. One of its pages tackled about the difference between the now so famous monkey mind versus monk mind. And therefore I conclude that I have a monkey mind in the recent years. This is what they say the truth hurts because I am reading the way my mind thinks in a way that I dislike a lot. For example, a monkey mind is overwhelmed by multiple branches that we might link problems with so much more that actually not necessary, while a monk mind is always focused on the root of the issue. That root that solves everything and no more Jay Shetty so-called weeds to grow. And even though we often feel the need to multitask, but sorry to tell, multitaskers have monkey minds. Study says that although we can accomplish doing two tasks at the same time, our attention to focus and deepen our learning is actually decreasing. It says our brain cannot do two things at a time in the same quantity and quality. For example, if you are watching your favorite movie while reading a book, well, I've done that as well back in the time, either our focus in watching the movie is higher than our focus in reading the book. And single tasking is the beauty of a monk's mind. It is focused, calm, and free. As it says from the book, Thinking like a monk possesses another way of viewing and approaching life. It's a way of rebellion, detachment, rediscovery, purpose, focus, discipline, and service. The goal of monk thinking is a life free of ego, envy, lust, anxiety, anger, bitterness, and baggage. After all, we are all chasing calmness, stillness, and peacefulness in our lives, isn't it? As you listen to this, what do you have? A monkey mind or a monk mind? Moving on to chapter 1, a mind-blowing quote is one of my favorites I've learned through Jay Shetty. I am not what I think I am, and I am not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. Amazing, isn't it? It's because we are losing our identity by other people's perception of what is a happy life and what is not a happy life in social media, internet, TV, school, family, friends, and magazines. This book will teach you how to filter the noise around you of who you really are and look within what is a purposeful life for you. So far, I am enjoying doing the exercises, finding out what are the most important values for me. An outstanding realization I got from reading chapter 1 is that happiness that we are always wishing and looking for in our lives are actually the result of our values or what is more important to us. And our actions are aligned. That's why we are not happy most of the time because we are not doing what we really want to do in life. 
if you are passionate about writing a children's book, but you are working for a magazine, it will definitely make you unhappy. First step that we should do as advised by Jay Shetty is to let go. Letting go of many things like material things, social media, or even your career will clear out and quiet our mind. As Jay Shetty wrote down, Building our values can be done by surrounding ourselves with the right people, making tough career choices, using your time more wisely, and focus your attention where it matters to you. The next step is to audit our lives. What you think without taking an action is useless. Like worrying as a rocking chair, it gives you something to do but it will not lead you somewhere. One of the exercises I've learned is to write down at the end of the day what you have done and how long you did it. It will make you realize how much you spend time working on social media and so on. Then, see if what you did today will help you achieve what matters most in your life. If it doesn't align, probably you are unhappy now. This is what Jay Shetty called comparative spending. Try this exercise. It doesn't mean that we won't listen to other people for opinions, expectations, and obligations, but we need to learn how to filter what can help us and what cannot. Align to your life values. This is just parts of chapter 1 and so much to share. If you are interested about what you have just heard, I will suggest you grab your own copy of Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty and let's learn together and start living a purposeful life. Love, Nani and Claire.